Hello Grade 1s! Welcome to this maths lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. My name is Teacher Dai and I'm so glad that you can be here with me today. We are going to do some really fun maths today, but before we get started, let's do a little bit of revision. We did shapes last time, so let's see if you can remember your shapes. Okay, I'll explain the shape and you guess. Okay, the first clue is it's perfectly round and it's a 2D shape. By the way, we did 2D shapes if you missed it, so you can guess what 2D shape is perfectly round. It's a circle. Well done. Okay, next one. It has four straight sides, four corners. Hmm, what 2D shape is four straight sides, four corners? But wait, there's more. Two long sides and two short sides. Hmm. It's a rectangle. Well done. How about this one? It's got three straight sides and three corners. That's right. It's a triangle. Last one. Four straight sides, four corners, but this time... Four equal sides. What could that be? It's a square. Well done. Okay, today we're going to be looking at a special number and learning all about it and how to build it up and how many it is, how much it is, how many numbers in this one. Okay, you guess the number. Here's your first clue. Did you get it? It's number five. That's right. That's the number symbol. We call this a number symbol. And if you want the number name, the word, that's how you read it. Five. Five. So we've got the number symbol. That's this one over here. The number name, the word for the number. And actually we've got a hand up here, which is how much the number is. So you can hold up your hand. Why don't you hold it up? And see, you've got five fingers. That's how much is in the number five. Okay, now we are going to find it on this number line. Can you find number five? Let's see. There it is. It's in the middle of our number line. Let's count how many hops from naught. One, two, three, four, five. That's right. What comes before five? Four. What comes after five? Six. What number is between four and six? Five, of course. Okay, there it is. Number five. Now, you may have seen this before. Let me explain again. This is a hotel. It looks like we're at the beach this time. It's a beach hotel with hotel manager number five. Now, this hotel is called number five because it can only accommodate five people on each floor. There's only enough hot water on each floor for five people to bath or shower. So, we've got the top floor here, only five people on that whole floor. Only five, only five. Now, the admin administrator, the receptionist has already booked one person in on this top floor. So how many people can she still book in on the other room? Remember, there can only be five. So you've got one so far. How many more can you put in that other room? Can't be more than five. We want exactly five. We've got one. So we need four more. That makes five. So we know that one plus four is five. Okay, let's move to the next floor. The secretary has booked in two people in that bedroom. How many more people can she still book in in the other bedroom? Remember, only five. She's booked in two. Maybe you can hold up your hand and look. She's already booked in two. So how many can she book in in the other room? Three. That's right. Three. We, know that, we now know that three and two makes five. Let's look at the next floor. We've got three booked in over there. How many in the other room? Do you remember? Two. Okay, so we can say that two plus three is five, or we could just say it the other way around. 
3 plus 2 equals 5. Okay, both right. Here we've got four people booked in on this floor. So how many in the other room? One. Okay, four and one make five. And on the bottom floor, the secretary has booked five people into this bedroom. How many people can she book in the other room? Remember, there's only enough hot water on each floor for five people, and she's booked five people in that bedroom. So what shall we do with the other room? We can't fit any more people in. Not. It's got to stay empty. Okay, great. I wonder if we can make some sums. Some sums. I always feel funny when I say that. Okay, let's make a plus sum out of this. The answer is 5. What can we say? How about 1 plus 4 is 5. Can you do the next row? Look at the numbers. 3 plus 2 equals Five. Good. Next one. Three and two. Let's say it the other way around. Oh, three and two makes five. Three plus two equals five. Great. Over here, four plus one is five. And naught plus five is five. Great. So if you got those sums, you would straight away know the answer. Maybe the number 5 wouldn't be there. You'd say, what is 1 plus 4? And then you'll remember this lesson and the hotel number 5 and you'll straight away know, oh, when I see a 1 and a 4, I know that's 5. Great. Let's fill in the missing numbers. Teachers love these sums because they are a little bit tricky, but we know you can do them. So we've got 1 plus what equals 5? And then everyone goes, oh, how are we supposed to know that teacher die? There's a number missing in the middle of the sum instead of at the end where I'm used to it. But it's not actually that tricky if you think of the hotel. Hey, one person in that bedroom plus how many more people will give us five on that floor? One plus four gives us five. You see, it's not that tricky. I knew you could do it. Next one. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 3 plus 2 equals 5. 4 plus 1 equals 5. And hmm, plus 5 equals 5. Let's look at the hotel floor. Naught plus 5 equals 5. There, you see, you did it. We can also make some minor sums. So we could have thought like this, I need to get to 5 and I've only got 1. So I'll say 5, take away 1 and that will give me the answer. See here, 5 minus 1 equals 4. The same on this floor, we could have said I've got 2, I need to get to 5. So I'll say 5, take away 2 and then I'll have my answer. And 5 minus 2 is 3. See, 1 and 4 are always partners. 2 and 3 are always partners when we're talking about bonds of 5. So let's look at this one. 5 take away 3. And we know when we're doing bonds of 5, the partner will be 2. Have a look at our floor. 3 and 2. 5 minus 4. 1. 5 minus 5 is naught. Excellent. Okay, let's see if we all understand by doing a story sum. Now, a story sum seems a little confusing because there's so many words and this is maths, not reading. Hey, but if we can figure out how to get these words into a math sum, then we'll be well on our way. Okay, it says solve this word problem. Sam needs five blocks of Lego to build a robot. Have you been building Lego at the moment? I know lots of children have. They've been a little bit bored at home and I've seen some wonderful Lego creations. So it seems like Sam is enjoying his Lego and he's thought of building a robot. But he can only find two blocks and he needs five blocks for his robot. How many more blocks does Sam need? I think Sam better look under the couch. That's where I find Lego blocks in my house. Okay, Sam needs five blocks of Lego to build his robot. He can only find two. How many more does he need to find? Let's see, we've got 
our two blocks of Lego that Sam has, plus we don't know how many more, and that's going to give Sam his five blocks. So we've got two plus what equals five. Can you guess? You can hold up your hand and have a look at your fingers. Maybe that will help you. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now we've got five. And how many blocks did we add? Three, because two plus three equals five. Right. So Sam needs how many more blocks? Three blocks. Remember, it was a word problem, so we must have a word in the answer, right? So we can't just say three. We have to say three blocks because that was the question. Okay, another word problem. There are five people in my family. We only have one box of Smarties. Oh dear. How many more boxes of Smarties must I buy? Okay, so we need five in total and we've only got one so far. So how many more do we need to buy? There's our one box of Smarties. We need to go and buy some and then we'll have five. One plus what will give us five? Do you remember? We've got one. Let's add another one. Two, three, four, five. Okay. And how many is that? Four. Four boxes of Smarties. That's what I need to buy. Do you see the word in the answer? Because it was a word problem. How many more boxes of Smarties must I buy? Four boxes. Well done. High five. And you high five the screen right now. Let's high five. Well done. You did such a great job today, grade ones. And I hope that you enjoyed this lesson as much as I did. Please download the activity that I've prepared for you and enjoy doing that. And I hope that I'll see you again soon.